gift. I made these little Pokemon cards. <laughs> the backs are just like this little pattern I picked out. I'll show these in greater detail but I think they turned out pretty good and they're pretty easy to make actually. Very simple. I feel like anyone could do it. It's not something you'd have to be very artistic to do or anything. It's more of just assembling stuff. In the past I feel like I would have just drawn all this and did all that but it was a lot easier and made it look more realistic. It's super straightforward, kind of, <laughs> but I made the tutorial anyway, just in case. It'd be really fun to see what variations other people make. You can make them not only of like a partner, you can make them of your friends or pets. would be really cute as Pokemon. But yeah, let's get into it. So these are the little cards I had made. I designed them, but I had them printed. These are little Pokemon cards I had made of me and my boyfriend. This is the picture I use on my YouTube intro sometimes, the ones that he's in. And this is the other one I had four made that I designed. This would be the back of the cards. So the first step is going to be to cut them out with some scissors. I'm nervous about this because I only got one try to <laughs> do this, but I can do it. I don't know exactly which one I want to start with. I guess I'll just do them in order. Hopefully it should be good. I don't know exactly which one I'm picking out of these two. I feel like this one looks better, so I'll set this. These ones aside and go with this one. Now I'm going to start with my favorite one here, <laughs> so I can't mess it up. Um, the black part doesn't matter too much, because I won't be using it. Also, excuse any noise going on, it's like Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Again, I'm going to go with this side, and then put these aside. Do these ones, I like the little hearts. <laughs> My voice is going out, so <laughs> um, yeah, the last one's a cut. For them. I think they look pretty good actually. They're a little smaller than actual Pokemon cards. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm exposing myself by saying that because <laughs> they look pretty accurate from afar, but real ones are 2.5 by 3.5 inches, I think. And then these are just 2 by 3 because they're wallet size prints. And then now I have to cut the back, which I'm so nervous about because I only got one shot to do it but we can do it. Here it goes. That looks kind of crooked. The last one, it's kind of easier to cut because there's more of a line here. Looks like there's makeup right there. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so that's done. I gotta fit these to the backs and glue them and wait for them to dry. I put this box here for my Poshmark, so I won't get any glue on the new carpet <laughs> because that would be a disaster. But the blacks on the bottom I'll have to cut off in the edges, so I gotta try to fit it like this. But I'm gonna use Mod Podge because that's all I got. I don't know what else to use, so I'm gonna put a little dab on the box and go 
go from there. I got this brush and just a little bit should work. Ah. Put a really thin layer because I don't want it to glob or anything. I just want it to stick to it and that's it pretty much. some more glue. Whoop. Don't want it going on the front, definitely not. So I have to be super careful. Line up the backs. It'll be easier to wipe off the back than it would be the front. So it's kind of what I'm trying to do. Okay, see? Then when it's dry, we'll cut off the edges in the bottom. But that one looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set it aside for now and move on to the next one. So the glue's on this one. It's okay though. I think that looks pretty good. A little bit sticking up at the top, but it's alright. Covers it all, so moving on to the next one. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. This one's done. On to the last one, which is really cute. It looks like the glue amount I put is going to be like just enough, so that's pretty good. I also have to wash this brush like right after I'm done because this is a good brush. It's not a glue brush, it's just a paint brush that he gave me out of his art supplies. So I don't want to ruin it. Though I don't hate care if I did, but I don't want to ruin it. I had to glue this one off camera because my phone was acting up, but now I just gotta set all these here. I'm gonna put a weight on them, like this big book, <laughs> and let them dry. I don't know how long, maybe like an hour or something, and then we'll come back to this. So I did some things, and it's been a couple hours. I think they're dry, so I picked stuff up. Long nails, um, they seem together all right, so I'm gonna cut them, all the black off the edges, and make them rounded. I don't know if I can do this on camera or not because it's kind of tedious. Got that one. I think it's better to leave some of the black. Like, if you can tell there's some of it, barely any left. And I think that's better than maybe cutting too close. So I'm just gonna do the tops now. This one's like my favorite one, so <laughs> try not to mess it up. You wanna try to keep it as continuous as you can. That's kind of the easiest way. It's kind of the easiest way to get straight lines. We'll repeat the steps on all of these. This one's very close and kind of hard to cut. So if you can hear that, my bad, but shouldn't be too bad. Nope. Cutting the tops off. I talk a little quieter when I'm working on something because I'm focusing. I don't know if you do that, but I do that and I talk a lot slower. So if I'm doing that, that's why. 
It has a gap here, but I can just fill that in with like a pen or something. Not a big deal. They're all cut out. They're pretty much done. You could just leave it like this. But I think they look pretty good. You could even get holographic, um, like clear contact paper or something and put over it. I was thinking about doing that with sleeves or something, but I wouldn't have time before I'm giving them. So, but I'm going to correct all the black corners or where they're supposed to be black, but they're white by just touching that up and then it shouldn't be done. I wouldn't have time to do the little sleeves, but I'm doing an advent calendar type thing where every weekend day of December I'm giving gifts and I think I'm going to do these in the first set, which is next week. So I have to have them done and I have time to order things for them. I think they turned out really cute. projects coming um hopefully you'll like them i'm excited so <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching